you know, it strikes me as one of the biggest differences between liberals and conservatives is the way in which they think behavior can or should be modified. Okay, the liberals believe that people should be responsible for the consequences of their actions. You know, and the consequences mean, well, if you don't do something, you're still responsible for turning it in. Uh, there may be some penalty for turning in late, or, or any number of things. Okay, there may be a, a person has to be responsible for the consequences of their actions. Whereas I think conservatives really believe in punishment, that they've got some sort of ideal behavior they have in mind, and falling short of that behavior merits punishment because you have to be taught a lesson with pain and lots of it. Okay, well, pain always teaches a lesson. But it doesn't necessarily teach a lesson you had in mind. Okay, it can teach the person receiving the quote-unquote lesson that they are worthless, that they are a failure. You know, there's a lot of things they can learn from their punishment. All right, that they don't like it, that they don't want to pursue it, that they want to just drop it and drop out as soon as possible. Okay, <laughs> so I think I think. Giving the children there a second chance is not necessarily the worst idea in the world. Okay, it's not like they're lowering standards. What they're doing is they're giving kids a second chance to come back in and complete work they may have missed or may not have done very well. I think that is something that um, is worth trying. Okay, now human behavior being what it is, I don't know. If it's going to be a success or not, okay, it may or may not be. But let's find out, okay? We've done it the old way, and we've seen what a miserable failure a lot of the schools are. You know, no child left behind is just a sheer and utter disaster because it places all this emphasis on testing, and and not enough on learning skills and getting kids interested in what they're doing. Okay, so no child left behind is certainly let down. A lot of kids and a lot of school systems. All right, um, I don't see what the big harm could be for students who are already failing to try some alternative way to bring them back into wanting to learn something again. So uh, I don't understand what is so threatening to you that you rant and rave the way you do. Okay, so you know. It's not necessary to punish kids, all right? All you have to show them is that there are consequences for their actions that they're responsible for. They're responsible for turning in the work, all right? Otherwise, if they don't turn in, they will get enough, all right, eventually. But giving, giving them a chance to complete the work, give that a try, all right? <laughs> Someone else will try. And if it's success, then it will be adopted in other places too. All right. If it's not a success, well, then you'll be right, and they'll have to drop that program. All right. But what's the harm in trying? They're already failing. How much worse could you make it for them? Okay. All right. That's all. <laughs>